even when I started looked at every pair of scissors were doing you know, all everything were hand ground. Hand grinding's really like, you know what I mean? I, I probably am last one. I I wouldn't think there were any more. My, f my first day at Whiteley's were probably when I was 13. It weren't when I started work. I'd learnt how to put screws in scissors. And then I'd go into ordering shop, help out in ordering shop. Go to shop for all sandwiches. Go to chip shop. These chaps know how old they were. They just let me get on with it. But I did pick it up and then when I did start, which were 12th of August 1974, I'd got the basic grounding and, you know, it, it weren't a frightening experience. Like, these old chaps, you know, they were extremely talented blokes and they probably didn't even know it. There were some chaps then who were getting to retirement age and they'd had enough, they were falling by the wayside and they needed somebody to keep hand grinding. So that's when I took it upon myself to learn. But it's not solely hand grinding, what I've, what I've, I've learned everything. I've learned every aspect of it, which which is good because it. Being an assembler, you need to know what kind of grinding you want to be able to tell lads who set machines up. Now, nah, that's not quite right because it's taking more out of point than I want it to. If you ain't got that knowledge, how can you go and tell somebody? First ordering shop I ever worked in. If you can imagine a tool up, tool down house, it worked front room or one of them. And it's 1976, hot summer, remember that? Wooden window frames, oak window frames caught fire when we were ordering. That was here. Chucking water on window frames. They're great memories, aren't they? they, 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 they there ain't no characters anymore. There's no, there's no characters. Them, them, them four mopping women, you know what I mean? Any, any new young lads what come as apprentices, they frightened them to death. Because they went, you're going to get initiated, you know, which they had to do. I'll not tell you what it were, but it involved swore figure. What you used to clean your hands with. extra special scissors for Queen Victoria and Prince Aldo. I don't think, honestly, that even with today's technology, you could replicate them. Paris Exhibition, that's 1855. We were awarded a certificate, signed and presented by Napoleon Bonaparte III. We were founded in 1760. We've outlasted everybody else, haven't we? Through years has been there's been tuck and safe misses of firms, haven't they? But cream always rises to the top. It's a dark art, it's sheer grinding. Um, I'm, I'm last chap to be doing it, and if I retire in six years, which I will, there just isn't enough time to teach anybody. You won't be able to learn it in that time. You won't be able to learn all the skill in that time. Oh, I would think we've got to. Making them like we do this, no exit or what we do. They're an excellent scissor. I mean, like, I've put a few together, they're razor sharp, but they're like a knife through butter. Any material you want to cut. I mean, final test what Jeremy does is on chiffon, which takes some cutting, I assure you. They slice through them. In the next six years, we can progress forward and exo, and shears what we're going to do in, in exo mould, they can, they can take over and it won't be lost. And that's what we need. And who knows, I'd, l I'd like to see in 20 years time where we are. Great times, honestly. Mm -hmm.